Hey folks, just had a phenomenal day of Winter River smallmouth fishing up here in the Susquehanna. Uh, we started the day with water temperature at 37.6 degrees. Came up a little bit maybe into that 38 and a half degree range and uh, these fish were chewing. They were eating. Um, didn't have a whole lot of wind which was really made it, you know, made it nice because I could visually detect those, those eddies, those little you know, center mass part of the eddies where all the foam would just just gather and, and say, Jeff, put your jig right here. And I did, and they ate, and it was beautiful. A um, lot of fish over 18. I think I probably have 10 of them over 18 inches, a uh, pair of them over 19. In terms of um, that, that a tournament angler, a kayak tournament angler would understand, I had 93.5 inches on the day with my top five fish um, in, with water temperature below 40. Uh, that's, that's what it can be out here in the right conditions with the right presentation. Uh, I'm leaving a little bit early today. I like to always fish until the sun goes down because that dusk bite is, is really good, even in winter, especially in winter, actually. Um, but I want to get back in time to have enough daylight to cover one more thing that I think is really important. So let's zoom back there and uh, you know, I'll get all my gear ready and uh, I got one more thing to teach. So in February of 2001, a friend of mine died in this river. And I do this every year in some manner or the other in hopes that I can get one more of my fishing buddies or someone else's fishing buddies to understand that a set of waders and a rain jacket is not enough. It isn't. So what I'm telling you is if you're not prepared to do what I'm about to do, you shouldn't be out here winter river smallmouth fishing. It's miserable to have a wet head and a wet hand in 37 degree water, but it's not fatal. The thing that gets you is the involuntary gasp. When you go in and you have that much cold water hit your, your main part of your body, you go <gasps> like that. You can't control it. When you have the dry suit, yeah, your head gets wet, your hands get wet, but you can still function. So get a dry suit. I use this NRS one. There's lots of you know good options out there. If you're going to be out here in winter, get the right gear. Don't die. See ya.